Hi guys, it's Danny. Today I will attempt to transplant, to repot actually, my mimosa because something's wrong with her. She was doing just fine and as you can see some of the bottom leaves are, st are starting to go yellow and not only that but going curly like this. Now this is a sign of underwatering which is fairly impossible for me to uh, understand why as I am really watering her um, every two or three days and some people usually water it once a week or something so my guess is that uh, this pot got a little bit too small for her and she's getting really dehydrated and everything you see here happened in one day this is how fast um, she she reaches a very bad condition so you have to be careful with it I've noticed it's, uh, well for me, it's harder to maintain than an orchid or uh, maybe I just don't know the proper way to care for it just yet but um, I watered her this morning and uh, she's looking better if you can believe it these leaves were all um, folded and they weren't um, staying up like this so yeah, definitely she needs hydration and um, yeah, I know it's not a universal remedy, but I will repot her as I tend to believe this pot is rather tiny for her. Again, I, I'm not sure about the medium, if it's quality medium or not, but anyway. So, I will attempt to repot it. Uh, keep in mind that she has thorns. Um, they're um, pretty big thorns, I mean you can see them with your eye, but do wear some protective gloves or just be careful when you're doing this. Okay, let's get to it. Alrighty, don't I look like an assassin with these gloves? <laughs> They're leather gloves and I use them for thorny plants. Okay, so I got her out of the pot and it seems to me that the roots are really circling around so maybe repotting her was a good idea. So this is how she looks like. Um, yeah, the pot was rather tiny and um, yeah this is what happens in case you see curly leaves it's from dehydration and it's happened it's it happens so so fast so yeah okay let's repot this one okay so what I did was to get a bit of her medium out of the roots uh, I didn't take all of it because the roots are very fragile and I really don't want to damage all of them and now I'm gonna pot her in this pot that I found I'm using standard peat, peat moss Sorry, um, I think it has a bit of perlite. It's um, I would call it a terrestrial orchid mix, but it's peat moss and possibly a bit of um, coconut husk, just a tiny bit, and some um, very very few perlite. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to place her in the middle here. Um, I think I would need a bit a bit more. So. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some soil around her. I'm gonna pause the vi this video and uh, come back when it's ready. Okay, so I'm done. I didn't do anything special, I just put the soil around her. Um, and yeah, now I'm gonna give her a very good soak so she can rehydrate and hopefully she will do better. Um, I have to tell you, I wasn't expecting it to be so hard to, to keep and this damage is all done in one day. Yesterday morning she was okay, she was healthy and look at her now. So yeah, just be careful with your mimosa. <laughs> she really definitely doesn't handle dryness too well. Okay, thank you for watching this. I'll keep you updated. Hopefully I'm going to have good news in the future. So, yeah, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. And if you want to leave me any questions, please use the comment section and I'll get back to you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.